heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC middleweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Anderson, the Spider Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones! John! Ready to fight. Ready. Good. So here he is, Anderson Silva, with his infectious energy. There is always a big time feel in the arena when Anderson Silva graces the octagon. Here we go, early round one. Jones gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And there's a takedown attempt. Just over three minutes to go. Nice land there by Anderson Silva. Just a true mixed martial artist, has so much honor and respect for the game, and somewhat remarkable. Still getting it done when matched up with the best middleweights in the world. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Back and forth we go. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Nice lift done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Well, this is as well as he has executed a striking game plan in his UFC career, and everything has worked off of that crisp jab. You see the numbers bottom of your screen. He has had that in his opponent's face from the opening horn, and he might even finish him with this jab if he's not careful. Oh, Jones gets hit by that leg kick. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fights. on the
the elbow. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, huge right hand. Him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the game. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at your first one. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Jones gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the iron. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Less than a minute to go in the round. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. The overhand left is true. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Can't hurt him a little bit. Some real power shots here. Right. Entertaining scraps so stop, far. Stop, stop. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to right, come eight, and see. Awesome Multiple shot, knockdowns eight. on one you side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this, this fight's not over yet. It's not right. over yet. There's exactly no three knockdown rule, eight. like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told him that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivering. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Nice kick there by Johnny Bo. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, Silva's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Oh, oh, the right oh. oh nice kick, though. Oh, great reversal to top position by Silva. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. My goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. You get the ball here. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. It's over. It's over. Working on Ezekiel choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. 
If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they set... Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Silva. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. He got hurt bad here. What incredible fight as long as it played out, and we will need the judges' scorecards. Tremendous back-and-forth affair tonight. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, John Bones Jones! All right, so you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by decision. He can play the short game, he can play the long game tonight.